What is going on guys, Retex message here, hope I'm wonderful day, got a brand new video for you guys. This is going to be my intro, different from my other intros that I usually do for my videos where I do the full face cam covering the entire screen. This one, we're going to be looking at Proxima Midnight's traits and abilities. I'm doing it because she was not an easy hero to use. So I want to give some background information on her so you guys know what exactly she is about. Let me know if you want me to do these for future gameplays where I go over the abilities and whatnot, get my opinions on the hero and that type of stuff. So let's get right into it. Right off the bat, like I said, she was pretty difficult to use. Uh, once you get the hang of her and what she's about and understanding the abilities, it does get easier over time. But, you gotta know what you're doing. So, let's get into the hero trait first. I do have my screen right here, uh, my tablet down here. I can see what I'm recording right here, so I'm gonna read off it here. Passive, Proxima Midnight's next basic attack after she casts an ability will become a ranged strike, dealing 100% physical attack, plus seven times the level, plus 25% physical attack. So that's all like extra stuff, so dealing physical damage to its target who will also get knocked in the direction of the joystick she is an assassin by the way you can gain this effect after exiting combat for two seconds all right going to the second one here active blink cooldown eight seconds cost 40 energy approximately midnight charges in a specified direction dealing 85 physical damage plus 45 bonus physical attack to enemy to any enemies in her path while gaining 20% movement speed for 1.5 seconds and a shield that could withstand 90 damage plus 50% bonus physical attack to that. This shield increases by 24 each time, approximately deals damage to an enemy hero plus 15% bonus physical attack and this effect can be triggered up to 5 times. She can use this ability again within 5 seconds to leap to another specified location dealing 85 physical damage plus 45% bonus physical attack and slowing nearby enemies by 20% for 2 seconds. All of these guys you will see in the gameplay portion of this video later on. If you guys want to skip to it, you're more than welcome to. And there's many different levels, 7 different levels for all of this here. For Just for this ability, we have the harass, 1 stage, 2 stage, slow, shield, shield increase. So whole bunch of craziness going on I'm not going to go through and explain all of that there you guys can just uh, see that there because that's a lot all right <clears throat> next one here Terra's shadow and this one was a uh, eclipse raid Terra's shadow approximately midnight charges in a specified direction if there's any enemies near her destination she leaps into the air and smashes them for 70 physical damage plus 45% bonus physical attack, knocking them up for 0.25 seconds and dealing an additional 70 physical damage plus 45 bonus physical when landing. This ability also reduces cooldown of Terror Shadow by 40%. If there are no enemies near the final destination of her initial charge, Proxima Midnight will travel further. And there's hit damage and landing damage. I'm not gonna get into that, different stages, that's all you gotta know. And for the ultimate Spear of Fate, Proxima Midnight throws her Celestial Spear in the specified direction, dealing 200 physical damage plus 120% bonus physical attack and marking that enemy, the first enemy hero struck. Proxima Midnight will gain the ability to teleport straight to this enemy hero's side for the next 6 seconds by reusing this ability when her target HP is less than 15%. This will deal fatal damage to a target, as well as 200 physical damage, plus 75% bonus physical attack, and 80% slow for one second to enemy to any nearby enemies. At the same time, she gains a shield that blocks 450 damage, plus 100% bonus physical attack, and a whole bunch of stages right down there. And you guys will be seeing gameplay, like I said, of all of these here. This ult is absolutely insane, alright? So... 
let me I'm, I'm a little stuffy I apologize so you will be seeing this one specifically a couple times because of how insane it was so you get people knocked up and whatnot right you get them weak you hit them with the ult all right and then you either go after the person right because most of the time when they're weak they'll start running away so get them down to like a quarter HP keep hitting them all right as they're running away that's when you use this ult and when they're far enough and you can't catch up to them you had that six seconds to teleport right to them you're doing an insane amount of physical damage and you would annihilate them like almost instantly you guys will be seeing that all right that's gonna be the end of this little portion here go ahead and enjoy the gameplay if you guys do drop a like on it subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below follow my social medias on the screen right now and yeah guys i'm out have a wonderful day peace has been destroyed. The Black Orb will never An allied hero has been defeated. An enemy hero has been defeated. I can slaughter him here. Attention! Your life. Lead away. An enemy hero has been defeated.
First KO. An enemy hero has been defeated. An enemy hero has been defeated. Missing watch. I impale them and drain their life. Feel your life bleed away. Night is this. An enemy hero has been defeated. An enemy hero has been defeated. You've been defeated. An enemy hero has been defeated. 